Southfield Veterans Commission. We are here at the Southfield Public Library in Southfield, Michigan. Today is the January the 23rd of 2008. We will be interviewing Mr. Alvin Lewis for the Veterans History Project at the Library of Congress. Uh, Mr. Lewis, could you uh, just give us some uh, background information where you were born, uh, what, what, what were you doing before you went into service, and were any other family members a, a part of the service? Okay, well, I was born in uh, Sioux City, Iowa. Okay. And uh, ever since I was a kid, I was nervous of aviation, flying. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be a pilot, you know, as a lot of kids do. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, I came to Detroit uh, at the age of 13. I have a brother and a sister. Mm -hmm. And uh, my father came here because things weren't doing so well in Sioux City with, with him and uh, his bread business that he had. Mm -hmm. So uh, he got into uh, you know, grocery stores and stuff. I worked with him on that and mm -hmm. so on. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a couple jobs here and there, whatever, as kids do, until uh, you know, I graduated high school. And uh, well, I got to get into college because I started that. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 let's see, right out of uh, uh, high school, actually, is when I joined the Navy. Okay. okay. And uh, I wanted to be a, in aviation, so I started off as an aviation recruit instead of a seaman recruit. Mm -hmm. And uh, went to Great Lakes Training Center in, uh, in Great Lakes, Illinois. Mm -hmm. And uh, from there, uh, after that, I went to Memphis, Tennessee, got my sea training and air training there and then got transferred to Jacksonville, Florida. Okay. And I was there for about, I think, 19 months. Okay. All right. Um, you, you enlisted uh, right at, at the high school? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. That, was, that was here in the city of Detroit? Correct, in Detroit. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Um, did you have any other family members who had been members of the military service? I don't, well, I did have an uncle who was in the Army. Okay. Yeah. All right. Right. So when you when you joined the um, uh, when you enlisted um, and you say you went where after after you or initially enlisted where did you go initially? Went well, to Great Lakes, uh, Illinois. Okay, Great Lakes. Okay. Yeah. And was that was that part of your basic training there? Yeah, that's basic training for all naval. Okay. You know, in, as far as the east of the mm -hmm. I guess mm -hmm. it is. Yeah. How long were you there? Um, I don't know. I think it was probably about a year. I'm not sure. I don't remember how long that was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, the normal, normal basic training camp. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, you get, you know, transferred to various bases according to what, you know, you aspire to be. Okay. And uh, okay. After you finish Great Lakes, where did you go then? You said what, the Memphis, Tennessee. Okay. 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 How long were you there? About 19 months. If I remember. 19 months. Wait a minute. No, I was. Ah, see, trying to about a year there, I think. Yeah. About a year. Yeah. Okay. Was, was this an advanced training? Basically, yes. That was for uh, to learn your sea uh, information there, how to, you know, what the how you handle a ship and what do you do in a ship. Oh, okay. And then we got into aviation there too, because that was a naval air station. Okay. okay. And then from there, I got uh, transferred to Memphis, Tennessee. I mean, to Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, okay. And I was there for 19 months. That's when it was 19 months. Okay. All right. Sure. And uh, there I was uh, assigned to what's called a FASRON, Fleet Aircraft Service Squadron. Mm -hmm. And that would uh, take care of airplanes that came in off of uh, aircraft carriers, mm -hmm. and we would service them, take care of, repair them, whatever is required. Mm -hmm. And uh, I took care of uh, F-8F Bearcats. Okay. SBD dive bombers, okay. and my favorite ship plane was the F4U Corsair. Okay, I like that gull wing on it. Mm -hmm. So, it was mm -hmm. very, I really like that. Okay, and um, so how old were you when, when you actually went into the service? Well, I was actually 19. 19. Yeah. Okay, and that, let's say now you're you're, you're down in Florida. How did you travel from Memphis to Fort Florida? Uh, was it by train, bus, or you were? Coming? I don't really recall. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Let, let's let's say um, why you were, let's say from when you initially enlisted to to Jacksonville. How 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 was how was life? Did you adjust to military service? Was it 
Mm-hmm. Did we address to was it uh, was it, did you have any was it just a nice transition or what well, that's a pretty easy going guy. I didn't have too much problem with mm-hmm. my superiors and whatever happened. Okay. So wasn't too much problem uh, mm-hmm. except uh, well, after that, but, uh, the one beyond that, and where I got transferred from Jacksonville, like oh, you mentioned, or go ahead. We'll, and, and, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get there in a minute. Okay. That, that's a, all, all your training. What, what was your, uh, uh, let's say, military specialty? What was, what was your job, basically? Uh, well, so it's, it's called, basically what I did was everything after the firewall. In other words, the engine is, is take care of the mechs, so we'd say. Mm-hmm. And I took care of uh, all the structure. Okay. I learned I think it was seven phases. I don't remember all of them. Okay. But it was uh, paints and notes, metals, mm-hmm. welding, mm-hmm. hydraulics, mm-hmm. and uh, some of the other things. Back. Well, 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 oh, oh, okay. So, so, yeah. so, you, so you actually took care of everything but the engine. Basically, yes. Everything but the engine. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And what 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 did they call this this job? You were in, uh, uh, aviation structural mechanic. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That sounds sounds pretty interesting. It was. <laughs> I can imagine. And, and so, um, through all your training, they at the various points. What did, what, what did you get your most advanced training to, to sort of when you finally was able to say, I'm a I'm a aviation structure mechanic? Well, we learned how to uh, rivet, mm-hmm. how to weld mm-hmm. using hydraulics. Mm-hmm. With, uh, you know how the uh, had. Hydraulics, like say for the landing gears and mm-hmm. of this nature, mm-hmm. uh, the operating of the uh, ailerons and, mm-hmm. and uh, rudders, things of this nature, mm-hmm. that was all hydraulics. Mm-hmm. And uh, and we also learned things to build. We had, there were some planes and so forth that still had fabric covering on the wings and so forth. Uh-huh. So we had to learn how to work with the fabric and how to uh, work with the, the covering on that, which mm-hmm. is the dope, they call it. Mm-hmm. It was kind of almost mm-hmm. like a glue. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then we learned to paint, so I guess it's painting part of that oh, too. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I did a lot of riveting. That's one thing you did a lot of. Oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, so we, you know, we, uh, what well, was called the, uh, no, let's see what they call it, Bureau of Changes, mm-hmm. which meant that the uh, government would send in some change required at an airplane. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of them is an example of the F4U Corsair mm-hmm. was as it landed on an aircraft carrier and dropped its tail hook, the shock actually cracked the back of the fuselage behind the pilot. Oh. So we had to go in there and put strengtheners oh. in there, <laughs> which was really <laughs> quite a job. And mm-hmm. especially since it was in Jacksonville, mm-hmm. uh, and we'd have to work in the hot sun, you know, how dark those planes were. Mm-hmm. Uh, we would actually fill the uh, sections in there with sweat. It's <laughs> just wow. Uh, <laughs> good, play, good way to lose weight. Mm-hmm. And you're in a very small area. Mm-hmm. It was only probably about this big around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, it was okay. quite, a, quite a task working on that. Right. right. What was that naval station called in Jacksonville? I forget the name of it. Okay. It's just, okay. Um, okay. So we just call Jax, J E X. Okay. Okay. So so now you're in Jacksonville and, and you were there about uh, 19 months, so to speak. Yeah. So um, where did where did you go then after you left Jacksonville? After I left Jacksonville, well, we had an opportunity to take a Mediterranean cruise on a, uh, a cruise, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. on a uh, aircraft carrier. Oh, okay. But uh, I said, nah, I don't know. I didn't know exactly want to do that. But okay. But they said that there's an opening at uh, in Lakehurst, New Jersey, mm-hmm. to train for flying blimps. Oh, okay. You know. Wow. So that sounds interesting. It's different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I transferred up to uh, Lakehurst, New Jersey. Oh, okay. Okay. And uh, one of the instances was there. It was on the way up. I had a car, and I took a couple things with me of my friends uh-huh. and so forth, and I stopped in. Uh, Baltimore, Maryland, mm-hmm. and at YMCA, mm-hmm. next morning it had been broken into and everything was